No, while I'm at it, I did almost forget that mana prism. So let's grab it. Hey, y'all, I'm down here at, uh, Hammer, selling off a bunch of these accessories that I do not need. Seeing what all we can get. I'll keep that. We'll sell, yeah, we'll sell this. Actually, you know what? I don't need the power belt. Because, yeah, just selling off these already got me up to 200,000. Keep one of the rosaries. I'll keep one of these. Keep the pendants. Just selling off anything and everything I don't need. Very shortly. I'm up to 300,000. Which finally gets us the Soul Eater Ring. And from now until pretty much the end of the game, this is staying perma equipped. Except for boss fights. Which, I mean, that's for obvious reasons. So the Soul Eater Ring is supposed to greatly increase your chance of getting souls. Combine that with, uh, we'll just go on and set it up now. Where is it? Is. Now combine that with these, bringing our, uh, luck up to over 50 now gives us a very good bump to uh, soul drop chances. It's still no guarantee, but, you know, it's a lot better than uh, unbuffered. Swap over to that. We'll. Venus. Tight Knight Shard. We're not going for a bad ending. Ah, if only this was skippable as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So sad. Yeah, that's something I don't understand. Why make some cutscenes skippable, but others not? Like, there's no quick time events. And the only importance about this cutscene and the last one that was unskippable is that these are potentially ending cutscenes, you know, depending on if you do the wrong thing. of souls obtained.
And once we reach the end of the abyss, I'll be going on my soul grind. I no longer need the gold ring on. Excuse me. As with the gold ring, I really only needed it to, uh, rude. Buy, I really only needed it to get the 300,000 I needed to buy the, uh, the Soul Eater ring. Now that I've got the Soul Eater ring, there's no real point in, uh, Swapping to anything else. I hate curse. It's an annoying status effect. Hey, there's Logra. So again, full disclosure, there are some monsters that maybe at, like, say, level 99, I might be, uh, I might be able to one-shot at level 99, maybe, absolutely no guarantee on that. Little shit. Fuck off. I hate the rippers. I do in the name of map completion. Stop gatekeeping the damn door. <laughs> you motherfuckers. God damn it. Warper. 
This place is supposed to do save points, and we'll go there to uh, heal. So yes, uh, much like in Battle Network, there's going to be an epic soul grind of destiny. Uh, like I did make mention, yes, I didn't do this for Aria of Sorrow. Unlike an Aria of Sorrow, this game actually has its luck stat work how it's supposed to. So the soul grind won't be nearly as terrible if I were to do it. Fucking gatekeep the damn door, you asshat. I very much dislike Gaibon. <sighs> Breath of Fresh Air. As we once more make our way to death. Buffed his ass up. Perfectly timed axe throw. Oh, my God. 
that real damn. Oh, I didn't mean to mana prism. Oh. That's absolutely worthless. I mean, it makes sense that the, uh. Damn it, stop stun locking me. Motherfucker. severely under leveled for it. Still. Oh. And we have officially made it to the abyss. Where? We'll go ahead and call this one here and see y'all next time.